Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where I'm gonna do three looks with the Odin's Eye and me, Anielke Nyqvist. This is Halloween and this is the Trick or Treat palette. So yesterday I did have a three looks with the little ghost palette and on Monday you could see swatches and hear all the details about this launch. In case you were interested in that, I will leave all of the info about this launch and all like the pricing and where you can find it and all of that is going to be in the description box together with the link to the reveal video if you want to see swatches and all of that. This collection is launching today on September 20th and I will put the exact time down below but it's going to be 10 o'clock central standard time which is where I am or is it central is it still daylight I don't know but it's central time. I keep bit, being confused by the time zones in the US. All the info is going to be in the description box and I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to be showing you three looks. Uh, if you, want, like I said, want to see swatches and all of that, that's going to be in Monday's video. But we are going to dive in. This being look number three. Super, super excited. Let's dive in. So we are going to do the first look with the Trick or Treat palette today. This is actually the first thing that I'm officially filming with this collab. And I'm just, I'm so excited to be able to finally dig in. This is one of the copies that I've been digging into as of before. And we are going to play with the first row today. We're going to start with the color Howl. And we're going to do that in the crease. It's like a muted mustard. And I love, and I've said this for so long, I love a yellow or like a neutrally mustard together with a brown and I'm so excited to be able to bring this with this palette and I am wearing shadow creature on my lips as well I was craving a red lip and I just think that this is the most beautiful like muted blurry red and I just love it feels so surreal to finally be filming with this because like I said this is actually even though you've seen the reveal before you see this this is the first thing that I'm officially filming with this collab and I've been using it and working with it so much behind the scenes and it's so exciting to finally be filming like the first look Ugh, I'm so excited and I am pre-filming this quite a lot as well and just makes me so excited for this Halloween season. So I'm just blending the edge a little bit and we are going to be using some of this under the eyes too. This is such a nice look to do when you want to have something that is neutral but still a little poppy and still not just an all brown. And now with a smaller brush, we're going to do Goblin, which is actually a dark brown. It is like a neutral, like cocoa brown. And I'm putting not too much, just a little bit. And we are going to build. So I used a little bit under my eyes as well. And now I'm just blending this out with the mustard. But I'm still only using two shadows on my eyes. But I just love how yummy this looks. These colors together. There's something about like a yellow and a brown. It makes me like brown. So this is full moon and it is the yellow metallic. And we are going to put that. Oh, it is so yellow that I wouldn't call it a gold. It is so yellow and I adore it. Look at this. It really is like cheese. <laughs> Did I just describe an eyeshadow as this cheese color? But it's just so bright and fun. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to put that on not the outer third of the lid and not the inner inner part either, but just like in the middle. And I am not going to do like a super harsh edge. I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit. And then we're going to go in with a little bit more of the dark brown. And we're just going to blend this together. And the lighter color, Mummy's Curse, is actually more of a pastel yellow that has a little bit of an almost peach in there. Like there's a little bit of a peach sheen or shift to it. I don't know if you can see that there's a little warmth, a little peach glow. So I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. And let's actually put a little bit of full moon here as well. 
the bright yellow just on the inner half I love how that looks I just think that this is such a great way of using colors that are a little bit more subdued like yellows and browns and making it like a fall look but it's not just neutrals like there's something more to it I adore it. I used a little bit of the yellow liner from Unasai in my waterline because I wanted this to be like a super yellowy and sunny and like maybe not sunny so much as like autumn leaves look. So I'm gonna finish this up, but I'm very much enjoying the yellow and brown. Oh, I can't believe that my first look with my palette is done. I'm so excited. This is a look that I've actually done quite a few times as I was like developing this palette, doing this palette. I was using this first like roll and doing this like warm yellowy brown neutral look when I wanted something neutral, but I knew I what I knew what I wanted. I know what I want, okay? And this is what I want. And I'm so excited to finally be showing you this one. It's been one of my favorite looks to do with this palette. So let me know what you think and let's get in to look number two. It is time for look number two and I am wearing the spectral lip gloss on my lips. Like a little mauve brown situation. I wanna play with this corner right here. I did create a corner like this down here because I thought that this quad would go so well together. So I really wanna play with these four shades here. There is a lighter, more cool tone mauve red, and then there is a very deep warmer red and you can definitely deepen up like this one can be deepened up with this one. And then there is like a burgundy metallic with a lot of like minty shimmer particles in it. And then there is a mint shimmer topper over here. So we're going to be playing with these four. I might use the, uh, the beige one as well. We'll see what happens. I'm going to start with Cemetery, which is the lighter, more cool tone one. You can see that it has a bit more of a muted look to it and I'm just gonna map out what I want to do with this look with this shadow and then we'll deepen up with the other one afterwards but I kind of want to do almost like a I call it a crescent moon cut crease where I do like a sliver that comes in with that light mint and we can just have a nice contrast between the mint and the burgundy. So I think we're gonna leave it something like this before we start deepening up a little bit. Let's do a little bit of that under my eyes as well, just that exact same color. So now we're doing the darker red that is called Vampire Fangs. Can I just say how much fun I <laughs> And naming these shadows. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm just having fun naming these shadows and just being like my first time doing Halloween? Let me do all the things that all you American kids got when you were kids. I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. So this is Vampire Fangs. And you can tell that this is just a little bit darker. And it is a little bit deeper and just a little warmer and more red. Cemetery is almost like a little bit muted, a muted burgundy. And this is straight up just like a saturated, dark, really beautiful, dark, vibrant red. These two shadows together just make this most amazing, cool toned red crease that's just super, super yummy. So I am actually going to start and do a little bit of a crescent. Let me actually just get a little bit of a primer and we're just painting this on a little bit in the inner part of the lid like this. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit more. I'm just using a random one that's like a little light. And then just above my fold, I'm doing a little bit of a crescent moon. So I'm not covering this part, just a little bit of a crescent moon in like that maybe a little higher and then with your finger you can always blend this edge with your finger and no additional product and now this is the shade magic potion and we are just putting that in the inner part and just a little bit in the crescent moon just dabbing it on 
I'm going to put a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And this is the shade Trick or Treat. I'm going to spray this. This is the one that's named after the palette. It is a cool tone burgundy metallic with like minty shimmer particles in it. And I'm going to put this on the rest of the lid. Not covering up the blue, but just putting it on the rest of the lid. Again, cleaning off the brush again. And then going in with more of the Magic Potion. And just dabbing that on top. And just blending them together. And then back with Vampire Fangs. And we are just deepening up this again. And making sure that it blends together with the Metallic Burgundy. And this is the shade Wicked which is a matte with some shimmer particles in it. And I'm just putting this in the inner corner, just on top to just brighten this up. And this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so that is the finished second look. And I'm so excited to be able to show you these color combos that not only I've had in my mind and I've been practicing like outside of YouTube to just bring something to you that I've been working on for so long. And yeah, this was one of the first color combos that I had in mind when I was creating the color story for this palette that I wanted to have this mint moment with the cool tone burgundies. And I think... They look absolutely amazing and I hope that you enjoy it too. But let's get into the third and final look. We are definitely doing something with the bright greens, right? It's time. So I'm going to start with the color Jack-O-Lantern. And we are just going to be pushing this into the crease almost all the way in. Not all, all the way, but like two thirds like that. So we're blending that a little bit into... The outer part of the lid as well and then we're just gonna add a little bit more here so it turns into a little bit more of a rounded shape but we're probably gonna leave it something like that let's also do a little bit under our eyes but i'm doing it almost all the way in not to my inner corners but like on the th like bottom lash oh i love this orange so much orange makes me so happy and i'm just so excited Listen, we're doing orange looks to the end of the year. <laughs> I want to say I'm kidding, but I'm kind of not. Now we're doing candy apple. And we are just going to make sure that this crease becomes even... Look at that. Just look at the difference with just a little swoop of the candy apple. We're going to make this the most vibrant reddish orange ever. Just look at that. Just a little bit. And this is just... Ugh, I love it! And same here, just a little bit on the lower lash line too. We want this to be that super bright reddish orange. And now with an even smaller brush, we are doing just a little bit of vampire fangs just in the outer corner to get the depth that we are looking for. I just, this dark red is just so cool love shades like this and i am so excited that we were able to bring this into the palette look at that so we need to be playing with the greens of course so let's start with the matte one first so this is poison it just makes me so happy and we are going to be putting this in the inner part and also on the other side and of course under as well And now we start to soften this line up a little bit. We're actually going to be using a little bit of Wicked. And we're going to put that in our inner corners. And we are going to be using that also to soften the edge on top here. And now it is time for Witch's Brew. And I'm putting on like little by little. Because I want to focus it mainly here on the inner part of my, of my lid. Like this. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the deadly shade, which is just the 
more coppery shade and I'm going to put that on the edge here just to make these like just I don't know flow into each other so it doesn't become like a sharp green line so I'm just brushing that on the edge so that is the look that we're having right now I'm really really enjoying it so let's finish it up and let's have a chat about this whole palette. Okay, that is the finished look. We are looking all kinds of colorful and fun and I mean, I love working with this palette. Obviously, I love working with both of these palettes. Let me know which one is your favorite, honestly. I mean, I like both of them. I've actually been asked by my friends who've already seen the palettes, which are my favorites and I'm it's like choosing between your, it's like choosing between my two dogs. I love them both, but really do enjoy this look and I'm super excited we were able to do something super like vibrant and fun like this. All the info about this release, including like prices and all of that is gonna be down in the description box. This collection is launching today. If you wanna get some more info, do check out the video that I had on Monday where you can get all the swatches and all of that, but it is launching today, Wednesday the 20th, so do keep an eye open for it. And thank you so much for being here. And remember, just you being here, watching my videos, leaving a comment, pressing the thumbs up, that's also support. That's also support and I'm so very grateful that you're here. So yeah, I'm so excited that it's finally gonna be out in the world. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again tomorrow for a look where I'm combining the two palettes.